Welcome and thanks for clicking on the link here to see how to play REM's Catapult. This is actually a request I've had. I'm starting to get requests now, which is really cool. Uh, hopefully that means you guys like what you're seeing. You find it sort of accurate. So you guys can play along here to Mr. Peter Buck. Um, so this one actually um, I wasn't planning on doing a lesson for. just did a cover, but based on the cover, somebody saw it and said, can you basically teach me what you're doing? So here it is. All right, so obviously we know the song starts with the bass and the drums. And then, depending if you're watching it or listening to it live or off the Murmur album, Peter Buck is doing something different. I mean, he's kind of doing the same thing. It just depends when he's doing it. Um, so if you listen to the, the record, he starts off by picking that... If you listen to him live, especially before they recorded the album, um, he's doing something different, right? just really depends what version you're listening we'll just go off the album version make it easier for everybody um, so what he's doing at the very beginning that it's almost bar chords is what he's doing but he's playing them on the uh, fourth and the third string which isn't super natural but it kind of gives him that nice ringing sound so um, we're going to put our first finger on the fourth string of the fifth fret. Then we're going to take our third finger, put it on the third string of the seventh fret. Right? So now we have that. You just pick it. So you start with the fourth string to the third, that. Slide it down to the, respectively, the second and the fourth frets. Technically, you're sliding it down again, but I just now play the D string open, that fourth string, and then I have the second fret of the third string. So what he's doing there is he's playing the third, third string, fourth fret, and then he's bending it when he needs to. That's slow so you can kind of zoom in here on my fingers what I'm doing that All right so it does that then the second time you get that so to do that it's really just the same beginning it's that what he's doing is he's basically just barring the fourth and the third string again on the seventh fret and then hammering on third string of the ninth fret Instead of bending, now he moves up and hammers on that. That's a little better. Then he goes to the F, to the C, to the D. Right, that did we miss anything part? And then ends 
on that A. So the did we miss anything part is just an F chord. So you can just play regular F to the C to the D. And to the A. And then when they start singing the catapult, it's just a D, but you're going to take and, and kind of come on and off that first string with your second finger that so now it's on off on and then move that whole D chord up to the ninth fret D switch it up so kind of once we get into the middle of the song now he's doing that Instead of picking that bar chord, basically, you know, where it goes, he's just strumming it a little bit. So really he's focusing on the strings four, three, and two. Four, three, and two. So he's, so that's strum. Or you could even introduce and, and strum the high E. It's not going to really hurt anything. Come up, so you still hold that pattern. Second string, third string. Now he's going to fret the seventh fret of the of the second string. So you basically, I just introduced my pinky here. So you go seventh seventh fret, eighth fret. This is all in the second string here. Seven, eight, seven. And then go to the third string, which is fretted at the seventh fret. And then I just let, I'm just gonna take my first finger off and then let those ring and pick. So kind of a third or three-fourths of the way through, Peter Buck then goes that. Basically same, same finger pattern, right? So as that really intro bar chord, that. Right, so now you're just you're bringing in the open second and first strings here, and you're just picking them. That and then basically move down to a D, 
without the high E fretted. And then you can fret. And then that A chord. that helps if you have any other comments feedback questions go ahead and let me know again I appreciate you suggesting that's a great lesson it's a great little uh, lesson on how Peter Buck plays those open chords and just does really kind of standard bar chords but really that openness makes that ringing really great that so appreciate you guys hanging in here talk to you soon bye bye